All right, guys. Well, you should be super excited about this new video because it is the first video in a tutorial series that I'm going to be doing for developing mobile apps, but specifically games here. We're going to keep this really fun, and you don't even have to learn any native languages. No Objective-C or Swift. We're talking purely HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all web technologies so if you're familiar with them that is awesome and you're probably going to need to be a little bit familiar to follow along but yeah so if you know how to make a website you're going to know how to make a game it's going to be awesome and you know there are plenty of html5 games out there that are really cool on the web and stuff like that but we are going to show you how to do it for mobile and make it look and feel like a native app and i'm going to show you how to set all that up Firstly, I want to explain a little bit about how we're going to be doing this. So to do that, I'm going to go to PhoneGap.com and I'm going to show you real quick that this essentially is a free and open source framework that takes your HTML and CSS and JavaScript and packages all up and exports it out for any platform, including iOS, Android, and Windows. And that's going to be really helpful. Um, that means that Although I'm going to be using a Mac and Xcode and developing for iOS in this tutorial, you could still follow along if you want to develop for Android or Windows Phone. Just realize that you may have questions that you'll have to figure out on your own because I may not know the answer. But just to be clear, I just want to say again that this is an HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorial series more so than anything else. We won't be using any native languages, so if that's what you were looking to learn, then this isn't the series for you. I will, of course, be showing you how to set up your project using PhoneGap, and I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you're using a Mac and that you're going to be following along using Xcode, even though that may not be the case for you. What I really want to do in this series is push the limits with HTML and CSS and JavaScript and really show you what it can do and how powerful it can really be, especially for mobile. Now, I know there are tons of games out there on mobile now. You know, 3D, 2D, you know, you have RPGs, adventures, puzzle games, you know, strategy, all kinds of stuff. And so you're probably wondering, well, what the heck am I going to be covering in this tutorial? You know, what is my game going to be about? And so I want to give you a little bit of a demo on a project that I've been working on for a few months and I want to show you this is what we're going to be building and hopefully finishing for this tutorial series. It may be kind of a long series, but it'll be worth it. Okay, so I have a short video here that I can do a demo with. Just hide this. Obviously, this isn't live. I'm just showing a recording. Um, but here you can see that basically we're talking about a 2D space exploration game. As you can see... There's different amounts of planets around these different stars and you're navigating this universe. And then you can zoom in and you can select different planets. Um, right now I only have one planet designed, but ideally you would have more. You know, and then you're just tapping, you know, different settlements, viewing different statistics. Uh, this was the idea and this is what I want to build for this series. I do want to apologize for the quality of the demo video. Um, I know it's a little bit choppy, but believe me, on your phone, it's very smooth. Now, if you're watching this demo and you're saying, oh, this looks easy, I can do this, then you probably shouldn't be here. You should be doing something else because this is for people that look at this and say, wow, like, how do we do this? I want to know. I have no idea. If you have very little programming experience, then this is going to be very helpful. And if you had no programming experience, then you're going to learn a lot from this video. It's always easier to learn programming when you actually can apply the knowledge rather than just, you know, learning what a variable is or what a for loop is. So you're definitely going to learn a lot here. All right, guys. Well, I want to keep this video fairly short but at least you have an idea now of what we're going to be building and a very basic understanding of how we're going to be building it. In the next video, I'm going to be going over what you need to get started on your project. Again, I'm going to be working with Xcode. All right, well, if you guys are as excited as I am to follow along with this series and make this game, then you should definitely subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks.